the choice is all or none for Eric Larson of the United States. Nerving to come that close to the wall. Let's see if it affects Eric's composer as he prepares for this very difficult combination. Triple Lutz, very beautiful. And directly into a triple toe loop, that was excellent. every week from his home near San Diego. In fact, until recently, he's not had many lessons, and he's had to rely heavily on his own intelligence to teach himself. One of his coaches watching closely, knowing that success comes only at the end of an outstanding performance. Right now, there can be only one thing in Eric's mind, the thought that I'm in line to win, I'm going to win. But remember, still to skate, Vladimir Petrenko of the Soviet Union, the leader going into this free program. certainly could be good enough to win. But one weakness of the program is that there is just too much wasted time on the ice. The jumps are just not tied together with interesting and meaningful choreography. Well, that's certainly a program that Eric should be proud of, and one that he hopes will bring him a gold medal. Soviet Union starts his program knowing exactly how well he must skate. Vladimir opening up with a triple Lutz. Oh no, he's now missed the very same triple Lutz that Eric successfully executed at the beginning of his program. Now, Vladimir must recover if he is going to hold on to his lead. his coach know that there is now an opening but they must wait to see the rest of the program this is Vladimir's fourth attempt to win a medal at the World Junior Championships his first appearance was at the age of 10 even though Eric has beaten him on the other occasions he must feel that his experience is worth something uh, and yet another disaster the opening is widening Cup 
recovery, but a recovery that could now be too late. There must be a relief, a joy that Eric doesn't want to admit that he's feeling as Vladimir's challenge weakens with each new failed jump. again. The other Soviet skaters stunned. And as Vladimir comes to the end of his program, it is clear in the lethargy of his movements that he knows his cause is lost. Now, here we have really quite an outstanding pair considering their youth. Katerina is only 13 years of age and Sergei, her partner, just 17. That was a remarkable opening lift, a triple twist. However, let us know that the, the variance in their size is, is almost ridiculous. And this is very typical of the, uh, the new Soviet pair. They have a tiny girl and a gigantic man. For him to lift this girl is really no problem at all. Where the lifts seem utterly effortless, they are effortless because lifting someone who is perhaps 80 pounds is really not too difficult. As a matter of fact, she only weighs 68 pounds. Well, I stand corrected. comment is really a great pair I think with a lot of potential but the size differential is is almost ridiculous tremendous marks comparatively speaking by far the highest seen since 
They were clearly the winners in this Paris competition, as the Soviets, who came here very seriously minded about this competition, 